I'll be very honest, Steeler Nation. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. I'll be very honest. I don't know what direction the Steelers are going to go. I and you know what? There's, no, there's one thing I do know. One thing I do know before I before I make my point. One thing I do know. Trubisky, he won't be a quarterback. He's out of here. But besides that, Kenny Pickett, Rudolph, free agent. Now Art Rooney just got done with doing an interview with Bob Pompiani uh, via CBS. I will try and link that article, uh, or no, sorry, that video in this in the description. But what I do know is, is that Trubisky, he should be cut. He's cut. But what I don't know is, is Kenny Pickett, will he be the quarterback into the future QB1? Will they go and re-sign Mason Rudolph? Will they go and sign Ryan Tannehill? Will they go and sign, I don't know, another, another bloke like that, another free agent, Kirk Cousins? So many moving pieces, even though Kirk Cousins wants a lot of money. Okay. Now, here's another thing. Rooney got asked this question. He got asked the old trade question. And I think he had a very, very, very interesting answer. So via Nick Farabar, he's a bloke out there writing um, articles, doing YouTube stuff online too, all those kind of things, right? A few hours ago, Art Rooney had an interview with Bob Pompiani. He said, and, and by the way, Bob Pompiani said, will the Pittsburgh Steelers or will you trade, trade, remember that, trade for a quarterback? So he says here, uh, what would be your response is if you would trade for a quarterback? Now, Art Rooney says this, as we sit here in early February, we're not closing the door on anything. We have a lot of evaluation to go through and we'll go through all the options and do what we need to do to be better uh, this coming season. Now, it's a good answer. It's a very good answer, very open answer, you know, very like uh, political answer. But he didn't really say and back Kenny Pickett, didn't say, you know what? No, there's no way that we're shutting it down. There's zero tra- chance of a trade and I'm going with either a free agent pickup or I'm going with Kenny Pickett, my guy, our draft guy. He pretty much said he's open to a trade. We're not closing the door on anything. Now, I started to look around the internet. If they're not closing the door on anything, there's no trade that teams can go look for another quarterback or Rooney and the Steelers can look can find a quarterback to bring in via a trade, right? I started looking around and there's only really one name out there. Because I go through all the names, you go through all 32 quarterbacks, and I'll start from the very beginning, go real fast and quick. Lamar Jackson, not trading. Josh Allen, no. Joe, Josh, Joe Burrow, no. Watson, no. Uh, Jared Sidham, apparently he finished with the Broncos, no. Russell Wilson, maybe an option, but I don't know if Russell Wilson's a free agent or not. I think he might be still with, with the Seahawks. That's kind of complicated, so that's a maybe. Uh, Cedar Shroud, no. Richardson, no. Lawrence, no. Mahomes, no. Aiden O'Connell, no. Justin Herbert, no. Uh, Tua, Bailey, Rogers. We have Will Levis, Desmond Ritter, Kyler Murray, Bryce Young, and Dak Prescott. They're all no's. Uh, Jared Goff, Jordan Love, Stafford, Kirk Cousins. I think he's the one that could be a maybe, maybe, but maybe a small chance. But at the same time, he wants that big money. So I don't know if he's going to be, if the Steelers, would, I, I don't think the Steelers would do that, to be honest with Kirk Cousins. Derek Carr. Uh, Daniel Jones, Hertz, Brock Purdy, Jonah Smith, Baker Mayfield. I think he signs with the Bucks. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he goes there. And Sam Howe. The only other name that's been running around the internet, the one I didn't name, was Justin Fields. Right? He's the only other one that's been been coming up every now and then in trade proposals, trade ideas. That will the Pittsburgh Steelers go and trade yet again with the Chicago Bears? We already fleeced them for Claypool and got back JPJ. So would there be an option where the Roonies will talk to the Bears management and then next minute we have Justin Fields um, on the field in Pittsburgh, in Heinz Field, and, you know, tearing up and having a go to be number one. Maybe you have Fields be number one. Can he be number two? And the draft a third quarterback. That could be an option because Art Rooney said it could be an option, not closing the door at anything. Like, he could have answered. To be honest, Art Rooney could have answered and said, Kenny Pickett's our guy. We're sticking with Kenny Pickett. There will be no trade this offseason, but they're keeping everything open. Let me know in the comments below. This is your part, your chance. What do you think? I don't overly know. I don't think it's I don't think it's that big of a chance to go and get fields. I still think what the what the best option is for the Steelers to do is ride with Kenny Pickett. You sign Rudolph, you go into a quarterback competition, you get rid of Trubisky. Here's where I'm kind of standing. You ride with Kenny Pickett. You make him one, you sign Rudolph, you, you make him two, but then you have, because someone needs to be one, right? Somebody needs to be one in this scenario. So you ride with Kenny, Mason Rudolph's two, 
you go into camp, you fight for reps for one, and then you choose a quarterback after that. Maybe Rudolph wins and he gets a chance to, to lead his team and have the, the sole number one position. And Kenny Pickett moves back to two and you have a third quarterback being like some guy from the draft. Could be an idea. Otherwise, other options are the Steelers go and trade for Justin Fields to bring him over, which I don't think he's had the best career so far uh, with the Bears. Hasn't been too outstanding. Got some stats here for you guys. He's played 40, uh, 40 career games. He's only got five wins. That's pretty bad that he started. Five, I think that's right. Five wins. He got 6,000 yards, 40, intercept, uh, 40 TDs, 30 interceptions. So not the best not the best start over there. Chicago Bears, first round pick, 11th overall. Uh, you guys know he is. Justin Fields, quite young, 25 years of age. Do the Steelers make a big move and, the, and then, um, you know, send draft picks and bring him over to the organization if you do so? If you make a big move like that, though, that means to me is that the Steelers are saying that Justin Fields will be our guy and Kenny Pickett will be number two. Same time, I just don't really see it. I see Kenny Pickett be number one this year into his third year. I see Rudolph possibly getting a backup job and then fighting out for maybe that quarterback competition. But you need someone to be number one. That's what you need to happen. Anyways, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you reckon about this. As we sit here in early February, we're not closing the door on anything. We have a lot of evaluation to go through, and we'll go through all the options as we do so and be better this coming season. That's one thing that have to be better. Yes, we finished with 10 and 7. The next step really is winning. I, I think winning the division, win the division, get a home win, a playoff win, and see what happens next. Got a new coach in Arthur Smith, Mike Tomlin. I think he's looking to sign his extension, whether you like him or don't. He's looking for that, that answer. Uh, Kenny Pickett would be his third year. A lot of guys going into some 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 contract talks with Najee and, and Muth and things like that. Go and re, re, uh, readdress the O-line, bring some big guys up front in and play physical football from here. But right now as we stand, I don't know about you, I don't know who quarterback number one is. Is it Kenny Pickett? Is it Rudolph coming back? Or is it someone outside the organization going via trade or even a free agent, right? They could go and get a free agent. You've got plenty of guys like Kirk Cousins, maybe, but he, I don't know. Ryan Tenderhill, Jacoby Brissett. Um, you got Sam Donald. I don't think that happens. Uh, Baker Mayfield. I wouldn't mind seeing Baker Mayfield, but I think he's going to go to the Bucks. You know, a few guys like that. Even Josh Dobbs is up in the air, but these guys, whoever you sign for them, will probably be back up. It's to me, it's Kenny for me, Kenny with a new OC, Kenny with Arthur, and you, you run the rock and you let Arthur go crazy like he did with the Titans. And you move this this steel of football back to to the old old culture of running the rock and playing physical smash mouth football. That's where you go. Is the quarterback position right now? I don't know who's quarterback number one. Let me know in the comments below who you think it is. I legit don't know. But we have the uh, one more week till Super Bowl, and then each and every day we'll find out more news. But this was pretty interesting. We're not closing the door on anything. We have a lot of evaluations to go through. And we'll see what happens. We need to do better in the in the coming season. All righty, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day or the rest of your night. And I'll see you later.